Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in this world and listening. Guten Tag to my Germany people, because, um, yeah, Germany's uh, one of the top people that likes to listen to Ticket to Life, so guten Tag, uh, or guten Morgen. Anyway, welcome to Ticket to Life. This is Henry, and I hope everyone's having a wonderful summer or fall or winter, wherever you are in the world, because I know it's different seasons around the world right now. I know that in Australia, it's cold. Um, I hope that everyone has heard about the Texas heat. I think it's so funny because we have so many people originally born and raised in Texas. We have these summers, and I'm, I'm one of those, go, oh, it's so hot. And we complained, but we love being in Texas. I figure if we didn't like it that much, but I guess people have to complain about something because some people just love to complain. Uh, today, our temperature at 220, it is 105 degrees, but it feels like 111. So, of course, I'm inside. Yeah, we have a pool, but uh, the water is 90 degrees right now, so I'm pretty happy just being inside. Um it's supposed to get to 106 and tomorrow 107, but that's just Texas. So that's like in other states where it's just warm. So stay cool, drink lots of water, don't overexert, and, and enjoy the rest of summer. Find something you can do in the in the coolness of your home and pray for those who are homeless that don't have any place to go and having to um, be in this heat. So... I, um, if you heard my podcast last week, it was about movies I would wanted to see. Well, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I did go and see, uh, Sound of Freedom. O-M-G. This movie was done so well, in my opinion. Now, don't forget, these are all my opinions. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a therapist. I'm just Henry. Now, everything I say and do on Ticket to Life is just me. This is who I am. Um, probably going to piss some countries off that actually listen to, <laughs> to my podcast. Africa, India, North Korea, Russia. I have different places that these they listen to the podcast, but they probably will not listen after... Um, after this, I'm probably going to really be ticked off with me, but you know, it is what it is. Um, but this movie was done so well. It was literally a movie that when it first started, you were like, oh gosh, these are children. My heart literally, literally was pounding with being anxious of seeing this. Now, I am one who knows what goes on in the world when it's, no, I don't keep up with politics, but I do know, unless it's absolutely necessary. Um, I, I, I know what happens. I know there is so much good in the world, but yet there is so much evil in the world. And oh my gosh, this movie was not about Satan. But Satan doesn't exist to cause these people to commit these sins with these children. It's seen humans actually, yes, I know they're actors, but the story is true. It's a true story. And it is, I can't even explain it. And I do recommend you go see it. Do not have a blind eye to this because this is reality. Uh, human trafficking is out there right now. As we speak, someone is being abducted. They have, they have actual footage that I have seen on the internet where kids are being out in the street playing and a van pick drives by and just grabs them and drives off. Now to say, oh, the child's alone. I don't know where a parent is. There's one lady that she's asleep with her baby on the streets and someone literally snatches this baby. It's absolutely... I, it's an eye opener for, I believe, a lot of people because I don't think that a lot of people realized how bad this is. And it's bad. It's real bad. It's horrible. So to say we can't do anything about it is not true. 
Oh, I don't want to get involved. Oh, I don't know. Okay, there is that 800 number, that uh, that toll-free number. If you have any suspicions, that's all you have to do is call this number. They're not going to come to your house. They're not going to do anything like that. You have got to report any shenanigans you see. That number is 1-888-373-7888. Now, I did mention last week also that in the Vegas, that's, I had a picture on my phone. I had to find it, but I did. And I posted it on the um, uh, Ticket to Life Instagram. And that is the sign that is in all the bathroom stalls in the Vegas airport. I don't know if it's in the men. I, I guess I should ask my husband because it's in all of the ladies' stalls. So more than likely it is in the men's also, or it should be if it's not. But this movie made me realize in the last night, you know, I don't really watch the news either, but I did watch the news, local news because of the weather and and, um, just curious about the heat here. But anyway, um, I don't know why I'm curious. I just know it's going to be hot. But uh, and they did have a story on the uh, the movie. It, It is just something I highly recommend. Sound of Freedom, the actors were great. The children in it were great. And it was really thoughtful. There was a special message at the end. And, um, but uh, when you read the, you know, the, the credits at the end, they do thank the parents. I don't have the children's names that were affiliated in the movie or in the movie. And they thank them for allowing their children to be in this movie. Um, so anyway, I'm going to give you some facts that I have found on Google it. Now, to tell you these are actual facts, the, a lot of the stats I found were 2016 because it's so rapid right now. I mean, this is just happening. Like I said, right now, again, as we speak, someone is being sexually abused. Someone is being violated. Someone is being put to, to, to work in fields. Slavery, literally. So... This was something that actually was on the news last night, and I found it on the internet. And one of the facts is that there are more people in slavery today than at any other time in history. More than 40 million people around the world are victims of modern slavery. Now, a lot of you won't want to hear this, but it's true, and it's horrible. It's awful. And it is something we don't want to realize is going on because, oh, yeah, I want to live in a la-la land of happiness and rainbows. But I know that that does not exist in heaven, maybe in heaven. I will get that. But one in five victims are sexually exploited. Forced labor um, in 2021 was 28 million, 28 million were estimated to be into forced labor, 28 million. Now that was 2021 and this is 2023. So, you know, it has even increased more. And that was during the pandemic forced marriages. This really ticks me off over 6 million forced marriages. It has grown into such a profitable business, profitable business for some families. Yeah, families. Why, what do you mean families? Some families force their children into marriage as a means of secure, stable future for their children and themselves. A lot of these young women and young girls are married and then forced into this relationship at a higher risk of sexual exploitation, violence, and domestic servitude. Most of these marriages are in Asia and the Pacific, followed by Africa. The members are, I'm I'm sorry, not the members, the numbers are are from 2021. So they exactly, this is just stuff I've written down. I, I looked it up and I was just literally appalled and pissed off and just like, how can you do this? There's got to be another way. I don't know. I'm not in that situation, but to force my, one of my children or children into a forced marriage. No, no. mm -mm. And I'm sure, I'm pretty sure, like I said, this was in 2021. I can't even imagine 
how the numbers have increased. So, again, you can do something. If there is any suspicion, or does this just happen in, in these countries? No. This happens throughout the world. Yeah. Even in the U.S., folks. It happens everywhere. It's, it's um, in every country, which you think, well, not, not in our country. Yeah, our country. So forced labor also <laughs> is a huge business with annual profits of over. Now, this is in U.S. dollars. A hundred and fifty billion, not million, billion dollars. This is as much as four big profitable couple companies, big old companies, you know. The biggest place is North Korea. It's the world's highest rate of slavery. One in ten people are enslaved. Now, these numbers are absolutely crazy when you listen to this. So if you don't want to go see that movie, I get it. I totally get it. I, again, my heart was literal. I could feel my heart. I ate plenty of popcorn out of nerves, but did not even have my M&Ms. And I'm not trying to be silly. I was so, uh, uh, it was just unbelievable. And I know that it's out there, but to see it on the screen, and I know they were actors and, and, I'm sure I believe that it was probably hard for some of those actors. I may be wrong, but to portray the evilness of hurting a child. A child. A someone, someone brought into this world. I have said, and I will continue to say, my children are adults, but if anyone, and I mean anyone, ever laid a hand on them, I'm coming after you. you. The rest of the family may have to come visit me in Huntsville, Texas, where there's the state prison. But you know what? It would be worth it. It is crazy to think that people don't want to believe something so horrific, and this is horrific, happens as I'm speaking, young children being abused, sexually abused, put into slavery to work fields. And the borders alone here in Texas, I know this is kind of sad because this is my state, but I'm sure the other borders also, but I know, well, I say Texas, I don't know. Now, let me backtrack on that before the government comes after me. But it, it is said that in Texas, a lot of the border states have agricultural slavery. Now, this is around the U.S. borders. Of course, that's why I said Texas. Um, what I read, it, uh, any race that is forced into these labor, um, forced labor, agricultural jobs, and Hispanics mainly, I'm sure, Work through the methods of threats, physical, sexual violence, deportation. These laborers are given no pay or only enough pay to allow them to keep themselves from starving so they can keep working. Women and children, in addition to the men, can be trapped into forced labor. All genders, all colors, all... This could happen to anyone, anyone. So again, I'm sure I'm not going to, I'm probably going to listen, lose some listeners. And you know what? That's okay. Because I am allowed to speak what's on my mind. Just as you are allowed to speak what's on yours. You don't have to hear me. You don't want have to agree with me, but this needs to be addressed. People need to be aware. Do not Hesitate to report anything that you think is not legal. Talk to your kids. Of course, women, 
and young children, young girls, are more of a prey than men. But I'm sure men, I'm pro- I'm positive men are drawn into this too, and small boys, which ugh, just irks me. But make sure to talk to your kids. Kids get on, and the thing is, especially with girls, and this is just my opinion, so moms don't freak out, but with girls, they get to a certain age and they want to be have attention, and not from mommy and daddy, but from someone of the opposite sex, or if they are lesbians, someone who is a lesbian. They, they want someone to look at them, to love them for how they are growing, not mommy and daddy again. And these predators will feed off on this. So this just doesn't happen to anyone. It can happen to everyone. Everyone, boys, girls, men, women. Talk to your children. If you work and your kids have a cell phone, keep track of what they are doing. Yes, they'll get mad at you and, oh, they might say it's none of your business, but it is your business. You're paying for the phone. You bought the phone. You have every right to look at their phone. And it's not to be nosy. It's just to make sure they are safe. And that's all it is. At least I hope that's all it is for you because they do need their privacy to a certain degree. But because you love your children so much and care, it could happen them walking home from school. Even with a group, someone can be snatched. So please, please, please talk to your kids. Boys, young boys, teens, young women, just talk to your kids and you adults. We need to be aware. We need to be aware of what is going on on in the world when it comes to something horrible like this. So if you have not seen this movie, I highly recommend it. It is an eye opener. And some of us are always turn our heads because we are in denial of horrible things that happen in the world. But if we like it or not, it's there. So this is Henry. Thank you so much for listening. And please love your family. Talk to your family. Talk to your friends. If you have single friends, you need to talk to them because this could happen again to adults. It does happen to adults, but mainly let's take care of our kids because they are our future. And people are like, how can you have a kid with the world being like this? Because they could be the change. Thank you for listening. This is Henry and please go find your blessings. <laughs>